as a seismologist here at the geoscience department, I work a lot on uh, analyzing massive um, amount of seismological data in search for signals that helps to characterize earthquakes, but not just earthquakes. Also, some other kind of signals that are generated by processes as uh, rock movement, rocks movements, or ice movements, or volcanic eruptions. And in performing this analysis of continuous seismological data, on September 2023, I discovered the very anomalous signals that lasted for more than one week and was clearly not an earthquake and was characterized by just one frequency. So like a sinusoid was exciting a single frequency. And this signal generated from Greenland. So shortly after the occurrence of this signal, it was recognized by a, a large group of uh, scientists all over the world as an extraordinary signal that we tried all together to understand, to characterize its origin by using seismological data, satellite data, and uh, modeling, physical modeling. So this analysis led us to understand that this signal was related to a mass movement, so a rock, a big piece of rock with 25 millions of meter cu or cubic meters, the touch entered into a fjord. And as this mass entered the fjord, it put this fjord in resonance. So the water started to oscillate at a particular frequency that is controlled by the shape of the fjord. And this oscillates for more than, um, not for more than a week. It's very anomalous. You can see here the signal that was generated by these uh, kind of events. And this kind of analysis, this global seismological analysis that we perform every day here, and you can follow uh, a Twitter account in which we share the results, is showing that seismological data contains a lot of new information and unique information about these uh, processes, these processes that are related to climate change and occur close to the surface of the Earth, and help to characterize the physical processes that occur punctual and so can corroborate the observation that we have from satellite data or from other kind of observation that are more um, large scale.